Hi everybody. Happy Wednesday. Uh, today we celebrate Saint Ephraim, who's, um, who's a wonderful deacon. He is the patron saint of spiritual directors. A quote from him, virtues are formed by prayer. Prayer preserves temperance, prayer suppresses anger, prayer prevents emotions of pride and envy, and prayer draws into the soul the Holy Spirit and raises man to heaven. So, it's beautiful. Um, and today we're going to be praying with Clarissa and our intentions, here she is. Oh, I'm not very good at this. Hmm. So our intentions for today from Sam. My husband and I are adopting our son and he is due July 1st. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Hi. I was just going through our intentions. Thank you so much for Perfect. joining us. Of course. I'm so excited. Yes. Um, so our first intention was from Sam. Um, they're adopting a baby boy and he'll he's due July 1st. We want to pray for peace over the birth mother. Um, and what a beautiful gift. And then for a healthy delivery in God's will for their family. Mm -hmm. um, from Hannah, please pray for my cousin, Michelle, who just had her first child last week. She was rushed to the hospital for a bad kidney infection. So prayers for okay. them and prayers of healing. And then um, from Claire, please pray for my teenage daughter, Gianna. She is suffering from anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and confusion in her faith. So mm -hmm. I want to pray, 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 pray for Gianna and her family. Um, and is there anything specific you'd like to pray for? Yes, I actually uh, just got off the phone with one of my cousins. We talk, we chat always very early in the morning. And she oh. said, uh, my babysitter for my boys backed out. So please pray that we find a babysitter that's a good fit for us. And also for I have like, I don't, it feels like 17 cousins who are expecting babies this year. So <laughs> I think it's really like five, but still, like, it's quite a few. So just for everybody who is expecting a baby that all the pregnancies go go well. Amen. Amen. That's beautiful. We want to pray for everyone here and all of their intentions. And um, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. And on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father's intentions, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Contemplating the risen one, Christians rediscover the reasons for their own faith, and we live the joy not only of those to whom Christ appeared, the apostles Mary Magdalene and the disciples on the road to Emmaus, but also the joy of Mary, who must have had an equally intense experience of the new life of her glorified Son. And we pray for an increase in faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension, and in the ascension, Christ was raised in glory to the right hand of the Father, and we pray for an increase in hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. At the center of this unfolding sequence of the glory of the Son and the Mother, the Rosary sets before us the third glorious mystery, Pentecost, which reveals the face of the Church as a family gathered together with Mary, enlivened by the powerful outpouring of the Spirit, and ready for the mission of evangelization. And we pray for an increase in love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Mary. In the ascension, Christ was raised in glory to the right hand of the Father, while Mary herself would be raised to that same glory in the assumption, enjoying beforehand by a unique privilege the destiny reserved for all the just at the resurrection of the dead. And we pray for perse <laughs> sorry, perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary, Queen of Heaven. Crowned in glory as she appears in the last glorious mystery, Mary shines forth as Queen of the Angels and Saints. The anticipation and the supreme realization of eschatological, I can't say the word, <laughs> a state of the church. Um, and we pray for uh, eternal happiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, 
the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then our last prayer, um, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Do you want to pray for us? Go ahead. No, okay. go ahead. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yes, thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. We're so glad you're here. I was looking at your bio, and I was like, oh, she does dating. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, do, not personally, but I help other people. <laughs> um, uh I, our first question is always kind of like your experience with the rosary or where it had um, a profound impact on your life, if you care to share. Just sure. Yeah. So I am a cradle Catholic and we, uh, my parents and older sister and I grew up kind of in the middle of nowhere. And so it took at least 20 minutes to get anywhere to church, to the grocery store, to wherever we were trying to go, um, if not longer. So it was always pray the rosary in the car, whenever we were on the way it was, that was just like the first thing that we did. And, um, and then we usually prayed daily at some point mm -hmm. or at least try to. So I think that's kind of how it started. And then, um, I really grew to dread the rosary. I didn't fully understand it was just kind of like the chore that we had to check off the list. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think I, so I kind of just not necessarily like rejected it, but stepped away from using it or utilizing it in my prayer life. And then more recently, I would say in the last few years, I've gone back to it. And actually for Lent, I think it was three years ago, I made a commitment to offer a daily rosary for one person in my life in particular. And I actually made them a rosary prayed the rosaries for all the days of Lent and then gave it to them um, on Easter. And so I've done that the last few years. And so that's really kept up um, with my daily rosary. And then I join you guys a lot of the time because it's nice. It's nice to not have to lead all of it. I was like, oh, wait, do I know how to just respond and not lead and like not <laughs> pray the whole, my mind was literally going blank. Like, how do you just jump in in the middle? Because I normally, <laughs> I live by myself. So I normally pray by myself now. Right. So right. that's kind of, kind of how it's evolved over the years that's beautiful I love where did the people know you were praying for them not until after the fact so I would kind of just like send them a text periodically like hey anything like I'm about to pray the rosary anything I can pray for and would just kind of sneak things in or would like I have a few friend group texts so I would just be like hey about to pray like what do you guys want prayers for and of course I pray for everyone but it would right. give me a little bit of insight into that one particular person oh, that's a beautiful idea wow I love it I love it. it was very fruitful and it was really, it was, I almost feel like there was a, like a spiritual bond that was, that was m kind of unknowingly made during that right. time. And then it's like, oh my gosh, cool. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was really neat. I like, I really enjoy that. I love it. I love it. So do you want to talk about, you have so much going on. Like, <laughs> I do. I really do. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what inspired you to write your book? You know, I think it was my own struggle, honestly. Um, so I like brief little synopsis, and this is all in my book, um, is that I was engaged in my early 20s. And then that oh, ended I very... you in your early 20s. You look so no. good. <laughs> no, early 30s. Okay. Um, so about a decade ago, um, okay. I was engaged and it ended. And um, so, of course, that was a very traumatic experience. And it required a lot of healing. And so I really had backed away from dating for a long time. And then when I jumped back in, it was like all of the like, I just I was needing validation for myself and wasn't seeking that validation from our Lord. And so it really I, I speak about just my experience through like a year long dating fast and how I grew in the Lord and then just how to build a, a fulfilling life as a mm -hmm. single person, because we're not ever guaranteed that even though I feel called to marriage and family, I'm not guaranteed that by a certain age. And so I feel like it's really important to build a life that is pleasing to God and that has 
passion and purpose um, and God's will all wrapped up in it. So that's really what the book is for. And I think I was honestly inspired, like not only by my own struggle, but then hearing so many clients struggle and feeling just completely worthless when they don't have a, a spouse to validate them. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's, that's how it was born. That's, that's amazing. So as a person who has been in the dating scene for the past year, everybody here has probably heard about it. It's, it's crazy. Well, I mean, it's hard. It's tough. I it is all of the above. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I mean, I just, just it's, it's just, it's so great that you offer kind of that guidance to kind of try and navigate um, appropriately and um, just with a proper mindset. So you fasted from dating for a year. Is that what you said? I did. Yes. Bef actually that happened before I was engaged. And then I, it was kind of helping to heal from, I had been cheated on by the first couple of guys that I dated and that, that created some wounds and it was, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of things that led into that, but I really wanted to grow in my prayer life. And then the man I was engaged to was uh, a good Catholic man, but we were definitely just not suited for each other. I think we kind of rushed in um, mm -hmm. and, and kind of were in more of that infatuation stage for a little bit too long and got engaged. And then we're like, Oh, you know what? This actually isn't going to work. So, um, you know, but he was a great guy, you know, yeah. it just, just wasn't a good fit. So, right. but there was still a lot of, you know, obviously a lot of broken, dreams that you had to grieve and yeah there's a lot that goes into that so uh, absolute best decision but a lot of healing a lot of right. God coming in and redeeming so much of that so are you dating now um I'm not dating anyone I am single and looking but I'm not in a relationship at this point we my sister and and well my family my Carol, they all love to become matchmakers so we was like <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, sign me up. Do they, like, how do I find their services? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love it. <laughs> um, okay, do you want to talk a little bit about your podcast? Where did that come from? You know what? I just laugh at the Lord sometimes, or maybe we laugh together. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'll, I will just pray and say, okay, God, like, take me where you want me to go. And because none of my plans as a 31-year-old woman, like, my goal was to, be married with at least one child by now and um obviously that did not happen and so I'm like all right God like my plan was obviously not it so show me what yours is and like I'm just along for the ride and so last year there was this idea of the podcast that kept coming into my mind and I, I really love St. Joan of Arc I think she's so inspirational and so the podcast is called Born for This kind of a spinoff of one of her famous quotes. Mm -hmm. And um, so in the podcast, I interview each episode is interviewing a new guest that shares a story of discernment, because I feel like each of our lives is so unique. And so I want to I want to hear as many people's stories as possible, um, whether it's discerning career or, you know, spouse or religious life, whatever that may be. Um, some people talk about like just little snippets of their discerning writing a book or something like that. So it's it's um it's been really fun just to get to know guests in a different way. I've been able to interview a few people that I didn't know very well, and now we've just become great friends since then. So mm -hmm. it's very lighthearted, very encouraging, and just a feel good podcast. Honestly, wow, wow, that's awesome. It, so specifically, they've already been through, or they're just discerning currently. Like so, typically it's it's how how they discerned a kind of uh, a previous, you know, uh, decision, know they issue, but decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, so what led them to that, that part in their life? How did God see them through? And then what was the end result? So usually there's, you get to see the entire story. Do you, do you have any recommendations as if, if someone is trying to discern a major decision or a vocation, do you like, do you provide any advice there or see any common themes? I think definitely a lot of people, this is this is the common theme I see most is that people like to tell God what they want instead of listening to what he wants for them. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like we're really busy talking to God and telling God things instead of being still and listening. And so, so I'm and I'm so guilty of this also. Like mm -hmm. I don't say that as like a holier than thou like and then shame on them. But you know, because I definitely I'm like I understand that I recognize that because I also do that. Um, so I think for me always step one is to just like sit down and shut up and 
say, okay, God, what do you want for me? Give me some clarity. Use the people in my life that I trust to, to speak that life into me or, oh, you know, send me, I ask for like tangible signs because mm-hmm. I feel like the Lord is ready to give them to us. It's just, if we're not looking for them, we're not going to see them. And so I've prayed very specifically to like receive a bouquet of flowers for a certain prayer request and Mm -hmm. then got them. And, you know, that's crazy. And then, you know, just of lay this out for me or help me understand if this is something that's needed with my book. As soon as I started talking about the idea, I got a flood of support and I thought, okay, this is needed. And then everything fell into place. So I think it's just a lot about asking for clarity and then Mm -hmm. waiting. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I, yes, <laughs> I love that. I think some of us, yeah, that's just exactly what we need to hear. And then you also um, are a counselor, right? Helping young women. Yes, yes. So I've recently, I'm actually about three weeks away from opening my own uh, solo practice. So I am, I was in the same private practice for seven years, right out of grad school and um, did a lot of growing there. Uh, but they're a secular office. And I really wanted to kind of take the spin of Catholic therapist because mm-hmm. I just out of nowhere started, I, I gained one client who was Catholic and said, Hey, so and so I think we have a mutual friend in common. They said you were a Catholic and kind of like a whisper, like it's not on your website anywhere. So like, can we talk about that? And then from that one uh, young woman, she recommended me to like seven other people. And so I think I'm like the token Catholic therapist for an entire Bible study group. At this point. <laughs> but it's, um, that just, it just like one thing led to another. And I realized that incorporating Catholic, like our Catholic faith into our mental health and our healing is so important to like, we can't really be fully healed if we don't have a mind, body, soul connection. So that is, yeah. So July 6th, I will be, um, kind of opening the virtual doors to Ignite Your Worth Counseling. Oh, wow. Where are you located? So I'm in Texas. I'm in North okay. Texas. Um, you said it was virtual, right? Virtual. So as of right now, I can offer therapy to the entire state of Texas. And then in a couple of months, I'll be branching out with coaching. Um, that can open doors for any any state to oh, work with me. So Beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, someone was asking, how do you find a Catholic therapist? I thought there was a site, a website. There is catholictherapist.com. Um, mm-hmm. That's a great resource because you can type in your location and it'll pull up anyone that's in like within a certain number right. of miles. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I believe, yeah, the licensure is like within the location. So you have to kind of find someone. Yes. Um, in, in your area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, so we, yeah, because there's someone we spoke with with in Ohio I thought and I was like oh and then she's like yeah but you have to be you have to be licensed within that state <laughs> yes it's so uh, oh, it's so frustrating because I meet so many wonderful people they're like oh I would love you as my therapist and then it's like but they're not in Texas so right 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 yeah I think a lot of us mm-hmm. have that because and um just I have older children and kind of going through that process mm-hmm. it is very difficult to find a therapist, you know, like I feel that kind of shares some of your same yeah. values and yeah. So yeah, it is, it's, it's kind of tough. So but, yeah, yeah. Finding someone that's a good fit for you plus Catholic. Yeah, <laughs> it is, exactly. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a big niche for sure. It is. And, um, I think also what I've learned through the process is sometimes, um, people don't always m- mesh. Well, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like it's just interesting, but for sure. Um, so but thank you, Clarissa. Thank you so much for praying with us and joining us this morning. We love that. Yeah, it was so great. I saw one question real like real quick pop up. Um, it said as a therapist, do you find that you're booked at least six to eight weeks out? No. I would say I'm I'm like booked four weeks out, um, usually. Okay. But yeah, that I will know I'm full. <laughs> so <laughs> you are full. <laughs> I I will yeah, most of the time. I well I would yeah, pretty yeah pretty regularly I would say and you're so busy so yes very (laughs) (laughs) fantastic well thank you again thank you so much thank you it was so great I was looking forward to this since January whenever y'all reached out I was like oh my gosh I realized it's been six months in the making and I feel like I just woke up this morning like it's finally here I get to pray (laughs) I love it I love it well we just yes thank you we're so glad you joined us so thank you have a good morning bye everybody god bless bye